What's up guys, Hong Yin here for OG Fitness. Welcome to the channel. So in this video, we're gonna talk about why you can't lose weight. The number one reason why people can't lose weight. Well, actually there's two reasons. Two reasons are, well one, uh, priorities, right? And two, excuses. So the reason why I'm making this video is because I actually posted a comment on Facebook. The question was, okay, would you take uh, 15 pounds of muscle or would you take, uh, you know, like single digit body fat, <clears throat> you know, if you had one wish. And then somebody answered, uh, I would take a million dollars and so I could have time to, to get both, you know, to get low body fat percentage and to get the muscle. I want to break this down to you so that you realize, you know, because the excuse there is really, oh, I don't have time. That's that's not true. First of all, you know, people play lip service to it. They say it's a priority, but they, you know, their actions speak louder than their words, right? They might say that, oh yeah, health is a priority. They give it lip service, super important. But then when you look at what they do and you realize it's not true. And also you could just look at their shape. So if they're, if they're fat and out of shape and you know, I mean, obviously it's not a priority. And then the other one is that, okay, your excuses, Okay, so this, this person's excuse, because your excuses are just lies that you believe. You add it all up, in one week, you have 168 hours. So if you take off 56 hours, so that's, uh, and I get 56 by multiplying uh, eight hours of sleep times seven days, so 56 hours. So 168 minus 56 is gonna give you 112 hours left. Now, let's say you were to work eight hours a day, seven days a week. So you would minus another 56 hours. So you would take 112 minus another 56 hours. And that would give you 56 hours. So now you have 56 hours left in your week of spare time. So now out of 56 hours, if you were to train four times a week, that's just four hours a week, 40 hours left of free time to do whatever you have to do. You're telling me out of 56 hours in a week that you have uh, of free time, you can't find four hours to, to exercise for your health, which you claim to be a priority. Of course, now we got meds and all that that actually prolong your life and kind of amass the symptoms so you can go about your day. Uh, so, you know, you could even go longer abusing your body uh, until it actually breaks down. It eventually breaks down, but I mean, you know, that could take a little while, but when it does, you can't uh, come up with uh, four hours in a week to take care of your body. I mean, it's okay, but just accept it. But it, what's not good is to lie to yourself. If you just tell yourself, you know what, man, I don't give up. I want to die. I'm going to live the way I want to live. I'm going to take the meds. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. You know, I'm not, I don't care. I don't care, man. I'm going to love uh, uh, myself for myself, you know, <laughs> and okay. But you know what would be an interesting thing, guys, though, is that, you know, we set up uh, some kind of um, uh, obesity tax. <laughs> where like if you're not in shape and you don't do your annual checkups and you're not a certain, you got to pay more taxes. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? That's the problem too, is that when you're, when you're overweight and all that, right? I mean, you end up in the hospital in the healthcare system and then uh, the taxpayers end up paying for, for all that. I'm just saying that's a good idea there. Make people pay a tax. If you're gonna, like if you're gonna smoke cigarettes, you gotta pay more tax. You know, if you're gonna, if you're going to um, uh, uh, be, you know, obese, you know, you're gonna pay more tax, you know, and, and so on and so on. So that way it kind of forces people to, you know, take care of themselves. And if they don't want to take care of themselves, well, why should, you know, society pay? Anyways, I'm, I'm, I'm digressing a bit. So that's it for this video, guys. So I hope that made sense. And um, yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and click on the notification bell. Also, there's a link down below. If you guys click on it, it's gonna bring you to a page where you could follow me on all my social media platforms. And you can also apply for, uh, for coaching so that you guys can work directly with me. Also, one last thing guys, if you have any questions, right, send me an email. That's the best way to reach me. I read them and I'll, I'll answer your, your questions, man. All right, peace.